Yo, what's going on ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today we are once again back on Modern Warfare and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the new Rockwall Blueprint for the MG34 Light Machine Gun. If you guys take a look at the stats for the original Blueprint, you'll see that they're pretty trash. We get a nice little accuracy boost as well as a tiny control boost. However, we lose range, which is not a good thing with an LMG, and we end up losing a little bit of mobility. Um, you also have pretty trash aim down sight speed, so overall just not not the best class setup but if you guys take a look at the stats for the class setup that I'm gonna share with you you'll see that we get a huge boost to accuracy we get the same boost to control we actually get a nice boost to mobility fire rate and range as well so we're pretty much bumping up everything uh, when it comes to this class setup so hopefully you guys will find a lot of use for this so if you guys take a look we're not gonna be using a muzzle and we're not gonna be using a barrel this one might throw you off a little bit the laser we're gonna be using is attack laser now I know this may seem odd using a light machine gun with a laser however with this class class setup we're going to boost our hip fire accuracy and having this tack laser is going to help us significantly when it comes to those close quarters gunfights where we don't even have to aim down sight which is a really really nice thing to do um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably trying to get a lot of the challenges done for LMGs as well so this will help you there uh, when it comes to trying to get hip fire kills and just trying to win gunfights overall that are uh, you know really close quarters so the tack laser obviously is a great way to go we're also getting aim down sight speed with this uh, as a pro which is really really nice the optic we're running is the Cronin LP945 Mini Reflex. Now, if you're not a fan of the optic and you like the iron sight, you don't have to run this. You can get rid of the optic and you can run a barrel, uh, maybe the FSS Elite if you want more aim down sight speed. It really doesn't matter. But if you don't like the iron sight, you want to use an optic, the Cronin LP945 Mini Reflex is always a great way to go. We're not going to be using a stock. The underbarrel we're using is the Merc foregrip. Now this goes back to the TAC laser. The reason we're using this Merc foregrip is for the hip fire accuracy. We also get a little recoil control, so we get a boost to our control as well. But the main focus with this was getting that hip fire accuracy so that we, when we do run into those situations where we run around a corner or through a doorway or someone runs up on us, we can shoot without even having to aim down sight and, uh, and end up winning the gunfight. So Merc, Merc foregrip, a really good attachment to have. The rear grip we're using is stippled grip tape. This also comes into effect with the TAC laser and the Merc. Uh, we're getting aim down sight speed, which is always really, really great. But we're also getting sprint to fire speed. So if you do come across a situation where you're in a close quarters gunfight, uh, having that sprint to fire speed boost is going to be very, very clutch. Obviously with LMGs, it does take a long time uh, to not only reload, but to aim down sight. So having that as a pro is going to be very clutch. And, uh, and you know, getting that done, you'll get a lot more kills. Uh, last but not least, we're going to be using sleight of hand, which obviously why I just said this thing takes a while to reload. It is a light machine gun. You can't be mad at that, but uh, sleight of hand is a really good way to go for pretty much all of the light machine guns. That way you can get right back in that fight quicker, obviously giving us a boost to our fire rate. So that is the class setup for the MG34 uh, blueprint. If you guys like this, make sure to leave a like. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have any questions or anything else to add, and I'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see all you guys in the next video.